That's right. This is an extraordinary case where three people used their wealth and power and influence to persuade a young man living in poverty to travel 3,000 miles to the UK. They knew they wanted him to come because they wanted his kidney. He had no idea. And imagine his horror when he realised the truth. From the streets of Lagos, where he earned a few pounds a day as a street trader, the victim was brought to this London hospital, where it costs £80,000 for a private kidney transplant. No. The rich and influential Nigerian senator, E.K. Ikweramadu, was going to pay for it. His daughter desperately needed the operation. But today he was found guilty of conspiring to arrange the young man's travel with a view to exploiting him for his body part. Ikwe Ramadu's wife, Beatrice, and a medical middleman, Dr. Abina Abita, were also found guilty. This is the first conviction of its kind in the UK. We could not have achieved this without the courage of one person, our victim survivor. I want to commend him for his bravery in speaking out. Modern slavery is all around us. We need the public's help in identifying potential victims of trafficking and exploitation to bring offenders to justice and to protect the vulnerable. This was the moment the victim, whose identity is being protected, walked into a police station and begged for help. He'd thought he was coming to the UK to work, but ran away from the hospital when it became clear what was happening. It transpired medics had been told he was a cousin of the intended recipient, Sonia. They were pictured together, but he wasn't a match, and doctors found he was unaware of the plan. Sonia was cleared in court, but saw her parents convicted. They treated the victim like a spare part, the court heard. And they and the middleman doctor were remanded in custody until sentencing on May the 5th. Tessa Chapman, Five News.